Hey, is an inappropriately titled picture? Adam City Star Smells Title. <laughs> I sale is an interesting mix. Puppy seven weeks old. Mom is a lab. Dad a traveling salesman. <laughs> There you go, for your Tanya Harding, and you got your John Rocker right there, folks. The GE White Trash Compactor. <laughs> Here's the new box. This, this is, I, this looks, it says, stop male urinary leakage. You know, some, you know, you have that problem, okay. Uh, is that really the best thing? Look at that, that's, uh... Now, from where I come from, that's called a clamp. <laughs> it gets your big C clamp in there, you tighten it down. Yeah. Yeah, just... <laughs> just don't want to go through the metal detector wearing that, baby. <laughs> uh, Italian name. Look at this guy. With a name like Crepito, it's got to be good. Look at that. Uh... I just like how certain things become just part of the vernacular. Here, this is a 300,000 volt, uh, this is one of those stun gun deals. Okay, pull the trigger, blue spark, blah, blah, blah. I like this, look at uh, A four second touch will drop a raging 200 pound crackhead like a stone. <laughs> is there such a thing as a 200 pound crackhead? Most of the ones I see seem to weigh about 85 pounds, don't they? Huh? 200 pounds, is, is this your first day on crack, maybe? Is that it? <laughs> Here's a little thing from the Department of Interior about bears. It's all about bears. Yeah, what's that little bear doing? That's what I want to know. <laughs> now, here's a woman selling an old-fashioned phone. You know, the type of ring, 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 you know, but it has modern insides. It seems to me she might want to hold the phone just a little bit lower. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, apparently it's... Uh, Apparently a very cold day at the phone company. <laughs> One day on cable, I'll show you the ones we can't use. But for now, <laughs> there's the gum Wrigley wedding. Okay. Okay. How about the pink eye wedding? <laughs> it's the you right wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. <laughs> It's the Belcher Gross Wedding, yeah, yeah. Folks, you don't want to miss the big Polly Bear Ass Wedding, yes sirree, Bob. Yeehaw! Benson Roeder. Yeah. It's the Striker Whore Wedding. And how embarrassing is this guy? It's the dicky little wedding, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bob. You know, they say kids are not in good of shape as when we were young, Kev. I think it might be true. Here's uh, Megan McMahon uh, shown competing in the high jump. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't want any kids to get low self-esteem, so if the bar is not quite as high as it used to be. Here's parents nurture kids blossom. Ways to show kids you care. I like the first one. Learn their name. <laughs> hey, you! Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Yeah! <laughs> Here's a foldable bicycle, uh, da, 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 the foldable stroller, or foldable stroller. And it, I like the instructions. Can you go in closer? Warning, always remove child from stroller before folding. <laughs> Here's Lakeside Restaurant, Mother's Day Buffet, Sunday, May 13th. Look at the special carved road beef. Please do not confuse that with roast beef. That is road beef. Kev, you might like this one. Here's Zoe's Garden, Chinese and vegetarian food. All vegetarian dishes, such as beef, pork, chicken. <laughs> Here's the Modern Cafe, all you can eat for as much as it costs. <laughs> uh, 
I don't understand this. Pets wanted monkey or other primate to do my homework. We'll pay top dollar. <laughs> There's a Mitsubishi Galant, ranked number one for the first consecutive year. <laughs> Here's Kosher World. If you're uh, Jewish, you might want to go to Kosher World. And I, again, I, again I, I'm not Jewish. Perhaps this is a devil's key. Perhaps I'm not familiar with the delicious ass soups. <laughs> apparently that's... Apparently what happened is, see, you see the... But look at the bottom. Our kitchen is now open. We have a wide ass, it says. You know, a wide ass. <laughs> Traveling this summer, you want to get this. Look at this, Kev. Suitcase safeguards. Magellan's privacy seals, red plastic locks deter the bad guys while you're grabbing coffee at the airport. Just cut locks later with scissors. <laughs> yeah, what are the chances that a thief would have a sharp object on it? <laughs> I like this one. When breathing is really important. When is it not important? <laughs> Well, this, this one, look at this, uh, pre-Memorial Day savings, entire stock of men's Levi's. Yeah, that's an attractive pair of pants in the ad there, huh? Look at that. <laughs> Here's <laughs> Super Values. That's South Tars, Chrysler Dodge. Go talk to the salesman. Look at his name. Sales manager, Dick Feely, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> All right, here's a gift idea. Well, disgusting is this. Never opened woman's colon large size. <laughs> Brighten your desktop with the world's most beautiful mouse pad. Look at that beautiful picture. Isn't that lovely? Huh? <laughs> I like this one. Jasper High School assistant principal Tim Ratcliffe holds the Remington 270 rifle he won at the recent East Texas Peace Officers Association dinner. Now, you know, he might want to think about taking one of those gun safety courses. And there he is right there. Here we are. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Here's a little story about Kevin's old high school. Really? Kevin went to private school. He went to, as you can see, Bong Academy. <laughs> Bong Academy. <laughs> I always like when they try to pretend that products are made in America, but when you read the directions, you get the little subtle hints that maybe they were made in a foreign country. This is something called the foldable rollerboard scooter. Look at the directions on the back. Don't drive the scooter on the uneven road or the cowed or the crowed road. Don't drive the scooter, the man over 80 kg, the man in thick shoes. Do not drive the scooter, the man who has drunk over wine, the man who is carrying the burden, the weak man. Don't drive the scooter over one man. Nice symbol to follow directions. Here you go. Oh, I got this a letter from Carl Brown. I guess Carl graduated from Delaware Community College. And his uh, senator this, uh, from Pennsylvania, Clarence Bell, sent him a letter. I assume this might be a typo, but here. It says, Dear Carl, congratulations on making the dean list at Delaware County Community College. This is an important milestone in your life, an achievement worth nothing. <laughs> My favorite category, stupid criminals. Look at this, a pair of nervous Michigan robbers entered a record store waving revolvers. The first one shouted, nobody knew, moved. When his partner moved, he shot him. And <laughs> <laughs> nobody moved. Good, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Delicious strawberries, 99 cents a pound. They look good, don't they? <laughs> Mimes presentation in uh, Cornelius Interactive and Bilingual. Omar Vargas, a professional mime originally from Ecuador, will present classical and contemporary pantomime. The show will be presented in English and Spanish. He's a mime! <laughs> <laughs> I am in a box. 
this one made me laugh. The Flathead, Flathead County Sheriff's Department was called to the Evergreen School Tuesday when a caller reported a man hanging around the school and yelling at children at the crosswalk. For two days in a row, the man continued to yell at children. Deputies found out he was the school principal. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. Mm -hmm. Police blotter. Uh, some stuff was stolen. A report said the intruder came in through an unlocked dresser drawer. <laughs> Apparently very small criminal. <laughs> Here's the Radisson. Oh, the Radisson Christmas Day Buffet. Look at all of the list. Like, look at the one. Marinated grilled airline chicken breast. <laughs> You know, you want to get airline food, you just can't afford to buy that ticket all the time. <laughs> hey, illustrious sounding name. Emerald gold fried chicken. Look what you get for $42. 12 breasts, 12 wings, 13 things. <laughs> A bunch of things in there, pieces, whatever that is. How disgusting is this? There's Jones's live sausage. What is live sausage? <laughs> Hey, lady, have you tried the live sausage? <laughs> Kevin, I remember this. Uh, uh, about a month or two ago, I did a joke about a clown named uh, Doodoo the Clown. I thought, that is the stupidest name for a clown, Doodoo the Clown. Well, look at it. He, he took out an ad. It just made me laugh. Doodoo -doo the Clown voted number one. And look, recently talked about on the Jay Leno show. <laughs> <laughs> Girls nylon shorts, sizes 18 to 14 in ass colors. <laughs> Couldn't sleep with that on their face. Isn't that attractive? Look. Hey, yes, sir, Bob. Pretty, what are you, a Klingon now? Is that what that is? Okay, here's a guy who is a sewer and drain cleaning specialist. I, I, don't, I, I don't believe this is an actual title. I don't believe you can go to college to become this. He is a turdologist. <laughs> Beef tongue and penis casserole. Thank you. It's a real item and it's it's only six fifty. <laughs> Must I mean, be they a, make that kind of sacrifice. Must be a small. Very small <laughs> answer, yeah. Very small, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, always try to get someone to write your ad. It has a bit of flair for advertising. You're trying to sell your home. I don't think this is the best ad. Look at this. Your friends will puke with envy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be fooled by movies that sound like other movies, okay? Like this one, ER, the extraterrestrial. <laughs> Police report, elderly man who lived on the 10700 block of G Avenue suffered a heart attack while engaged in intercourse and died April 2nd. Police unable to locate the man's wife and inform her of his death. <laughs> she probably would have killed him anyway. <laughs> You know, just a lot of idiots out there. Here's an idiot. Sean Lane, St. Gro uh, Long Grove, was charged with domestic assault with injury after he allegedly assaulted his girlfriend during an argument over the TV program she was allowing the children to watch were too violent. <laughs> a rare breed, John White, rides his bike home along Arlington Avenue. The 58-year-old cyclist says he began riding to work for health reasons. That's why he's smoking <laughs> while he's riding. He has a free Shih Tzu male, five years old, to approved home. You must be neutered! <laughs> you know, I don't like the dog that much. I like the dog. <laughs> I like this. Here's Glenn Erickson and Jim Thompson have created the missing piece, Ideal Weight Loss System. <laughs> Is a is man is a gynecologist. This seems a little. I'm sure he's a very fine, fine doctor. It's 
It's Dr. Peeper, your gynecologist. <laughs> Come in and see Dr. Peeper. <laughs> you know, I don't know a lot about firecrackers. This doesn't seem the safest way to handle firecrackers to me. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Here's the, here's the most poorly worded sentence. Coach recalls love of baseball racism. Yeah, yeah those were the days, boy. <laughs> People yelling at me out in the field. I don't what? think he meant it like that, Jack. <laughs> uh, you ever know, had that thing where people live together, you start to look like the other person? You ever see couples have been married a long time, they start to look like one another? Dennis Bradley and his wife Jane own Antiques Inc. <laughs> I like this. Suspect Daryl Kyles and Antonio Davis shed their face, uh, uh, shield their faces Wednesday from photographers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are hiding from photographers. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> this is a. Uh, Inflatable wading pool. I don't know, you might want to change the water. <laughs> hey, kids, stop out of the pool. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> What an honor this is. There's Valerie Mercer. She was voted Hellhole Swamp Queen. Here's Michael Vick, the Atlanta Falcons, the quarterback. There you go, look at this. I have two weapons, my legs, my arm, and my brains. Here's a poorly worded sentence. Gas leaks prompts Fanny evacuation. Homestead Senior Care. Each employee is screened, boned, and insured. <laughs> you know, here's one that made me laugh. You know, sometimes people just don't have it. I'll read it to you. Credit card fraud. Oh, here. Police are investigating a complaint that someone had been using a local woman's credit cards to access pornographic internet sites. The woman told police that her card had been billed for hundreds of dollars of internet access while she was recently away from home. The woman told police someone must have broken into her home and used her computer and her line of credit to access the sites because her 30-year-old son who was watching the house knew nothing about the incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody must have broken in, Ma. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Is Eclectic Family Pharmacy in Alabama. This is why when you put instructions on medicine, I can't stress how important this is, always be clear and explicit in your instructions. Gina Fuller, remove foil and insert one rectally by mouth. <laughs> you gotta know Gina pretty well. I hope so, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put this up. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> oh. There you go. Everything is security. Everything is security. Tiger Stadium. Look at this. I like the caption. A gate security worker questions a suspicious bulge in this student's pants. <laughs> 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 From the streets, this is one of the things I ask people. Uh, after the terrorist attack, do you feel safe traveling by plane? Have you canceled travel plans? I like this kid, Doug Reach. I don't fly, period. And if I did fly, I wouldn't get on a plane.
better paid workers getting paid better. <laughs> uh, this one just makes you stand up and cheer, isn't it? I love this one. Jury acquits suspect after he slugs lawyer. Yeah! Uh, here's his Chamberlain books, the Florida Times Union. I love this. Rare out of print and non-existent books. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a non-existent book. It was never published or written. Do you have that? Yes. <laughs> here's antiques and collectibles. William Shakespeare, complete work. Copyright 1925 with author's <laughs> signature. <laughs> this is the uh, this one made me laugh I don't know why so obviously this is like a school a school newspaper so obviously the editor this is what happens when editors put their personal views in a story you should never do that are we having journalism students <laughs> Stacy Pennell uh, it says Stacy beginning her six year of cheering for the Athens football and basketball team when she isn't cheering she likes to spend time with your boyfriend Stacy plans to attend <laughs> Great. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I look at this head. Why is my baby crying? Maybe it's because somebody took a big chunk out of his ear. <laughs> oh boy. This is unbelievable. Here's the Connecticut Law Tribune. Husband says he did not agree to an open marriage. It says, a plaintiff failed to prove allegations to support a judgment of annulment in the case in which the husband asserts he was fraudulently induced to enter into the marriage with the expectation of a monogamous, monogamous relationship. The wife allegedly believed it would be an open marriage and engaged in an extramarital relationship after the ceremony with a wedding guest. <laughs> Honey, have you seen my what? Oh. <laughs> Here's a good deal. If you're looking for bedding, you're looking for mattresses. Bedding. Some may be soiled or slightly damaged, but will not impair performance. <laughs> yeah, but it's cheap. <laughs> Here is the worst, the worst written ad. The worstly, I almost said. The worst written <laughs> ad. This is why you have a realtor. Beautiful Prairie View home, a new uh, suburb, two and a half years old. View of horses behind. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely view. Here's carts. Look at their slogan. Where customer satisfaction is not an option. <laughs> you know, I don't know where they get these people to play Santa Claus. You know, you need to look at people who play. They need to have references. Look at this. What is he doing with this dog? Look at this terrible, terrible picture. <laughs> You know, I don't know where they get these dogs. You know, you can't just get a dog on the street. What is this dog doing to poor Santa? Look at that. Come on, Santa. Stop, stop it, dog. <laughs> Kevin, oh, you don't eat meat. Here's the reason why. Here's Bar S. Frank's 16 ounce tasty dog chicken. Ooh. Oh, have, have you ever had dog chicken? Ooh. Woo! Oh, delicious. Here's a good deal. Warehouse markets. Brown's Best Pinto Beans, you get nine cents off with this coupon and a $2,000 minimum purchase. <laughs> get together, start off with the Sears brand wedding. I like these two, here's the Hopper and Skipper wedding. How about the Franks and Beans wedding? There's the house wrecker wedding. <laughs> How about these two? They got married. It's the rather hasty wedding. <laughs> it's the small and short wedding. <laughs> Getting a little more racy now. There's the dangler tool wedding. <laughs> How'd you like get this invitation? It's 
a Butts and Stubbs wedding. How many guys have been to this service? It's the Young Woody wedding. Or you might want to go to the Wiener Wagger wedding. If you're getting married, why not fly gay? How about the rough rumping wedding? Yeah. And finally, no, no, I don't know. Which one? I know. Well, this one isn't bad. There's the bone good wedding. And my favorite right there, it's the penis harness wedding. Buffet restaurant, weekend buffet, eleven ninety-nine. I like this. Children under two eat free. Children must present ID. <laughs> so ID says you're twenty-two months. Kev, yeah. <laughs> I think I see why you're a vegetarian. It's a Chinese restaurant menu. Fried Chinese pickled with stomach pork. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that stomach pork? Okay. <laughs> I love this. This is a, like a souvenir thing, you know, you get at a football game, you know, these little, you know, you put it on, you sit in the stands. I like what it says here, warning, not to be used as protective device. Okay, so don't, don't actually go out and play with this on, because... Someone sent me this campaign poster. Vote for Horny Richard. Yes, Horny Richard. <laughs> it's free bird walk in, uh, free bird walk in the canyon. Bring binoculars, boots, sunscreen, and hate. <laughs> <laughs> They're just little birds. It seems like a terrible, it's like an awful thing to bring to the park. It's uh, free fat cutting gel. Look at this. This guy says, I woke up the next morning one dress size smaller. Apparently, he lost a lot more than a couple of pounds. You know, other countries don't do this. We're the only, we are so squeamish about saying medical things or anything to do. Look at it. It says, the headline is, syphilis outbreak shaking up Detroit. So syphilis typically appears as a sore, can be treated with penicillin, left undamaged, can damage the heart, look at the top sentence, the heart, eye, brain, and other boy parts. <laughs> Let's go to the doctor, <clears throat> let's see your boy parts. <laughs> I love this, retire rich and healthy. You want to retire rich? Extension 6212. Healthy 6211. Here is the definition of irony. Porn star sues over rear end collision. Maybe that rear end hadn't been moving around so much. Here's an honest ad, ruby red binoculars, an amazing 5.8 field of vision for tracking any prey, great for outdoor sporting events and concerts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never heard of this, I'm sure it's a fine product. Polygamy bratwurst. <laughs> How many people have touched that? <laughs> Here's another weight loss one. I, I don't know. This made me laugh. Yeah, it made me laugh. I don't know. Just uh, about hypnosis. After hypnosis, her husband said, You're the sexiest woman alive. <laughs> yes, dear, you are the sexiest woman alive. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. No, no. Yes. Wow, this killed me. I, I, I'm going to read the lady's quote. And her right. quote really doesn't make sense until you see the picture. This woman is a secretary. She handles all the duties. It says, it's just easier to do it myself. I've grown up with this business. It's all in my head. <laughs> you can see it all, all in her head. <laughs> the 
This is from the Flagstaff newspaper. It says, do you think more people use marijuana in Flagstaff compared to other cities? Michael Willett, graduate student, says, I think they do a lot. My neighbor sells a lot to the whole town. <laughs> I think the police are on their way to his, uh, oh, Misha, to Misha Willett's house right now. So here's another one. What do you think of Judge William Sessions' decision declaring the federal death penalty law unconstitutional? David Lind of Rutland says, I believe everyone has a right to a fair and speedy trial. I also believe life is precious, so I support the death penalty. <laughs> Weddings, these are people with, with interesting names that just happen to get married. Here's the golf ball wedding. <laughs> There's the beaten heart wedding. <laughs> Maybe these people live in Houston. It's the hanger husband wedding. <laughs> it's the missing the beer engagement. <laughs> Must have been quite a party. Feces celebrates 65th wedding. <laughs> the feces no never mind i like this one yes damn it johnson a leak more wedding sounds like a bad movie yes it's the hooker and the dummy they decided to the hooker and the dummy it's ed and wanna hickey be a fascinating wedding. It's the Veal Whacker wedding. <laughs> it's the Butteris Peter's wedding. Never mind. It's the Colin Plummer wedding. The Combs Bush wedding. It's the Killin' Beavers wedding. And finally, yes, my favorite, it's the Gay Leno wedding. Yeah!